Let's look at programming the LED or the two LEDs uh, in the MR1. Basically I use a 5mm LED, I use a super bright one and they're usually rated for about 5 volts so they're pretty safe to run straight out of the Arduino without a resistor. If you buy your own you can check to make sure you buy them like this or you can basically uh, add a resistor in line uh, if you need to. Uh, the circuit diagram for the entire robot is shown here. It's uh, looking pretty complicated, um, and you can tell by the mess of the uh, of the uh, wires all over the place in, in the actual images that I showed you in the introduction. That yes, it is actually quite complicated in the way it's wired up. But if you do things one at a time, it's it's fairly simple. The LEDs are, are plugged into circuits 13 and 12 on the Intel. Um, 101 Arduino um, or Genuino, uh, basically to uh, enable me to just turn them on and off. Um, normally I would plug them into one of the pulse width modulation channels, but I need those for my motors and unfortunately the Intel uh, Genuino 101 only has four pulse width channels. Um, that's the, the only small limitation it has, but I'll be using those for um, the um, the motors as I said and I usually only use the pulse width to make the lights turn on rather than blinking straight on I usually have them fade in uh, and that's a nice effect but I don't really need it for this little robot so they're just going to be on or off all the time so let's get into uh, the programming of this here I am in the Arduino program now I've had to uh, set the Arduino program up to be able to run the Arduino 101 which is all the way down here and ticked and I need to also make sure that I'm on my port there and basically if I press upload on this particular script now it will upload and it will say done uploading uh, and it's going to tell me it's doing it in five seconds but it's doing nothing at the moment so basically we need to start up our sketch uh, so basically um, it's going to tell me there's an error at the moment with the serial port uh, but basically I'm not running the serial port at the moment but I've got the serial terminal open somewhere so I'll need to shut that but um, basically we've got our, our setup area here so basically this area of code is going to one, run once and this is where we set up our ports so basically I can type in pin mode and pin mode is a command to set up a port and remember port 13 uh, is going to be our output so it's going to be an output pin and we need to set up pin 12 pin 12 is also going to be an output and we'll come back down into here this is the area where we'll run uh, continuously so let's get rid of that comment and all I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to type in digital write and I'm going to go to digital write 13 and I'm going to write in 13 and I'm going to just turn it on to high just to see what happens uh, so basically uh, I'll see what happens and I'll actually turn my video camera on on this uh, before I do this, so I'm going to video it. So um, pressing upload now, and basically it is uploading. I need to save it before I upload it. I'm just going to call it uh, MR1 and hit save, which is off the screen. So it's now uploading. And I can actually see there that it's actually turned the back lights on. So you can see the back lights, hopefully, as I turn it around there in the script, uh, that's turned on. So what I'm going to do is to basically uh, run with this. Um, just above here, I'm actually going to create an, a, uh, an integer. It's going to be a variable, and I'm going to call it red light and I'm going to set it equal to 13 and rather than actually having 13 through here I'm going to have red light uh, that's helpful to know uh, and I'm also going to have red light in here as well so basically 
uh, when I run this it will turn it the red light on. Let's just take a guess that we need to put that there by the way. We need to create an integer, we'll call it white light. And the white light will equal 12 as a guess. So let's actually change this one here to white light now. And change or add in a white light. So we're going to go digital uh, right. And we'll go um, white light. And we'll also turn that to high. And I'll just get my video camera ready. I'm going to turn my robot around. Okay, video is running. Now I'm going to press play on this. So the lights go off. It's uploading the script. And that, the front lights go on as well. And you can see that as I come down quite low, they're actually quite bright. Now all I uh, really wanted to do uh, with this is actually turn them on, um, but let's just have a look at making them blink just to, so that we can know how. What we can do is we can add a delay, and we'll add a delay of 500, which is 500 milliseconds or half of one second, and then we'll actually turn these lights off. So I'm going to copy Control C this code and press Command V here, just fix that indenting, and I'm going to turn them to low. and then I'm going to put in another delay. And if I actually uh, upload that, so put in the video on and upload that, you'll see the lights go out because it's uploading script. You can now see that my little uh, robot there is flashing his lights every half of one second. Now, I don't really want to do that, but that's just in case you, you do. And because I actually want to turn these on once at the beginning of the program and never again, I'm actually going to uh, put this line of code here, Control-X, and move it up to here, Command-V. Let's fix that indent. And I'm going to just delete all of this code here. And I really should comment this. So, begin turn lights on and then down here and turn lights on and now I've got a nice bit of commented code uh, I'm going to run that one more time uh, so basically I'm just going to press run and there you go the little robot's got its lights on on the back and the front.